Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn. On this video, I'm going to show you how I took an inexpensive canvas board, a sublimation print, and some laminating film to make this project. Now this is a quick and easy project, but there's a few tricks along the way. So if you're interested in learning more about this process, keep watching the video. Now, before I turn the camera around, I want to tell you how much I truly appreciate all your support. Whether that's subscribing to my channel, giving me thumbs up, nice comments, or using my Amazon links, thank you so very much. Before I start putting the project together, I want to show you the supplies I'll use. Some scissors, some heat resistant gloves, some heat resistant tape, an 8x10 canvas board. I got this one at the Dollar Tree. And this was a two pack. I think I got these at Walmart. Now, you could use a thermal laminating pouch. These are three mil. They're a little thicker than what I like to use, but these will work. You just pull them apart and you add this on. If you use these, the shiny side goes away from the canvas and the more matte or dull side goes against the canvas. And the dull side is the inside of the pouch. For my project, I'm going to use this laminating film that I got off of Amazon. Now, this is 25 inches wide and I believe it's 250 feet long. I am going to link to this and other supplies in the description below. And it was only $18 and something when I bought it off of Amazon. I really like this because it's thinner. It's 1.5 mil. It really melts into the canvas or wood or whatever you're putting it on. Then I'm going to have some butcher paper. Also got this off of Amazon, a Teflon sheet, my picture, and a heat press. Now I've already printed out my image on my sublimation printer, so now let's start putting the project together. I've been laminating on several canvas boards lately, so I have a piece of this lamination already cut off the roll, but I do need to trim it down to size. Now I don't get too particular to start with because I'm going to trim it up later anyway. So I'm just going to cut around my board. And you can see I have about a half inch of excess lamination film on each side. I have my heat press set at 385 and the timer for 50 seconds. Now there's a couple of things I want to do to get started. First of all, I just printed my picture and it's right here. Now that does not look vibrant yet, but once we add it to lamination film and we have high heat, It'll be really pretty. To make sure the ink is dry, I'm just going to set it under here for about 10 seconds. I'm not even going to put the press down. You wouldn't want to put the press down. But this is going to help ensure that the ink is dry. Then the second thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and pre-press my canvas board. Now this time I will put the press down for about 10 seconds. And this helps remove moisture before we put the lamination film on top. Now my next step is to add the lamination film to the canvas board. Now with the lamination film, there's a shiny side and a dull side. The dull side goes against the canvas board. So I'm just going to lay that down on top of the canvas board. And then the weight of the butcher paper is going to hold that down in place. So I'll press this about 20 seconds. Now the reason I did this on a Teflon sheet is because you can peel this off the Teflon sheet. If you use butcher paper under it, it would rip the butcher paper. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and peel this off my Teflon sheet and then I'll trim the excess lamination film off. Now when I trim the excess off, I'm going to leave just enough to curl over the edges of the canvas board. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Now the amount you leave is just personal preference. But you can see I have just a little bit that will curl over the edges of the canvas board. Now before I adhere that down, I want to trim the corners. So for the corners, I'm going to clip straight across, really close to the corner, leaving just enough that I can press it with my easy press in the corners. Now I have two ways that I've used to get this excess to adhere to the sides. Let me show you the first way. This first way, I just use the heat press and I roll it on the bottom of the heat press until it sticks. Now the second way is really easy and I prefer it because it is so easy. I take my Easy Press Mini, I put it on high. Now it's not quite up to temp yet, but it's fine. And then I just roll it along the side of the lamination film and push it against the side and the back of my canvas board. Now once all four sides are done, I use it on the corners just to make sure that they are stuck down as well and it's ready for the picture. Now anytime I'm doing sublimation, I want to protect the pad on my heat press. So I'm going to go ahead and put down butcher paper. Then I'll go ahead and put my picture facing up and then I'll lay my canvas board on it facing down. Now the size of this picture is off a little bit, but it's okay. Then I want to go ahead and use heat tape to adhere this down to the picture. If you do sublimation or if you've watched many YouTube videos, you've probably heard of ghosting. And by attaching the picture to your canvas board, you're going to help prevent that. What can happen is when you lift the lid, the paper can kind of bounce. And by attaching it to the canvas board, it helps prevent that. So I'll put a second piece on top, that way it'll protect my Teflon sheet from getting any sublimation ink on it. Then I'll press this at the 385 for 50 seconds. Now a second thing that I do to try to prevent ghosting is I put some pressure on my heat press so when I lift it, it's not going to pop up and cause the paper to shift. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this cool for about five minutes so I can easily handle it. It's only been about three minutes, but my patients are wearing thin and I'm ready to see this. So one more tip to help prevent ghosting. When you're taking your paper off, 
put some pressure on it so it can't move while you're lifting it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take that tape off and then I'll show you the picture. Now notice around where the picture was all the ink that's on the paper. This would be on your pad and could then transfer to later projects if you don't protect your pad with some butcher paper. All right, this is hard to show off because of the glare, but it turned out beautifully. The texture of the canvas comes through so well. The colors are vibrant. Now this is my mom and my sisters and I. Probably one of the last pictures we took when my mom was alive and healthy and we were all very happy. So I love this picture. So it's probably hard to tell in the camera, but this is why I love this lamination film. With it being thin, the film doesn't just sit on the top, it really melts into your canvas. Thanks so much for joining me and sticking it out to the end. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until my next video, bye-bye.